I mean, the weekend was crazy. It, it, it feels like a, like a fake weekend almost, you know, it's, it's stuff that you will never get to experience ever again. Um, and never think you will experience, you know, you're all of a sudden, like, you're literally like a celebrity for a week. Like, um, even though, like, no matter who you are, like you're getting this crazy attention, crazy exposure. Um, you know, you're getting to go to all these like really cool events that they put on. Um, you know, you're getting to go to really fancy, crazy dinners. Um, and then obviously, you know, you're doing it with the three other whatever best teams in the country. And then you're always going to get some awesome like coaches that you never would really get a chance to be around. Um, just kind of, you know, you kind of get to, I don't know, you get to, I don't know, be a fan almost again, when you kind of take a step back and realize like where you're at, that all this cool stuff is happening right in front of you. And you know, you're playing it. Like we played in a football like stadium, like, I don't know, like I'm never going to do that ever again. You know, it's crazy. Like you, like even just like during warmups, like getting to shoot on a, you know, a hoop to where there's like hundreds and hundreds of feet before there's even anything behind it. Like, you know, it's, it's crazy. Um, and then, yeah, obviously the Kobe thing was incredible. Um, that's definitely one of my like fondest memories, you know, ever, especially considering like what happened a couple of years later, obviously, you know, I'm so like honored to have gotten to meet him, you know, shake his hand, take a picture, you know, listen to, you know, him talk to us and he, you know, genuinely just answer questions like, you know, from the heart, like he always keeps it real, you know, he's not going to, you know, BS around anything. And he, you know, answered everyone's question like thoroughly and, you know, took the time to actually just stay there. And then obviously it's cool when he comes and he, you know, he's bringing everyone sneakers and yeah, it was awesome. Do you still have those sneakers? Did you get them signed and did you keep them? I didn't get them signed. I do have them. I do have them. I've never worn them. Um, we actually got two pairs. One of them was like one of them I've never worn. Um, wish I got them signed now. For yeah, sure. If yeah. I had a man cave item one day. Yeah. What was Coach Few's message after that game? Because everybody knows Kennedy Meeks. His hand was on the the out of bounds on the baseline. Should have been Gonzaga ball. Um, you know, even for North Carolina fans that, that may come across this, uh, that was a bad call. It should have been Gonzaga ball. Yeah. And that would have led to what a lot of us think would have been a different result. But, you know, I think a big thing that gets lost many times is a message from a coach after a loss. Do you yeah. remember Coach Few's message? Yeah, I, mean, I, I think it was, you know, there's nothing to put your head down for. You know, we were the best team all year. We've had the best bigs in the country. We had Nigel, who was the best point guard in the country all year. We had, you know, in, like, you know, Perk, like, hits four or five threes in the first half. Like, everyone did their job. You know, literally everyone did their job. Um, and that Carolina team was good. Like, they were big. They were experienced. They shot it, played defense. You know, they had multiple, you know, they had, they had multiple draft picks, too. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it was just there's no reason to – hang your head that game could have gone literally either way um like you mentioned there was a bad call you know but coach he's not one to really blame anything on anyone so you know he's not really mentioning that but it was just you know there's that game could have literally gone either way and we had our opportunities and you know a couple shots didn't fall our way at the end um yeah i mean obviously that game was you know one of the better championships over the last decade and Definitely will never forget that game.